AARP Arkansas and LiveQuest of Arkansas have teamed up for Little Rock moving forward. A panel to conversation discuss Little Rock becoming an age-friendly community. So tell us more about that. Uh, is age-friendly Little Rock a chairman, chairwoman of age-friendly Little Rock is Ellen Fennell. That's correct. I said it right. Yes. <laughs> and Victoria Brown from AARP here to talk about this. So all in all, what is the goal of this, this event? Um, the goal of this event is basically to bring the city's leaders together and some developers and especially the community, the public, um, you know, really mm -hmm. to focus on people that are over 50 mm -hmm. um, so they can ask questions and hear responses to thing that's, things that they find important, especially as we move forward to becoming an age-friendly community. Um, we really want to have a dialogue on exactly what that means for that for our city mm -hmm. and what what we're looking forward to. Now, there's going to be a panel discussion, right, on that. Uh, Mayor Frank Scott Jr. is going to be on it, correct? Correct. Correct. And who else is on that panel? Uh, Can you remember all off the top yeah, of your head? Yeah, John, John Eckert, uh, uh, our, our brilliant Parks and Recreation Director, uh -huh. crazy about working with him, and uh, Professor Jay Barth of Hendricks College, and uh, Roby Brock is going to be the moderator. Roby Brock will be moderating. So, okay. And uh, Jimmy Moses, yes. right, and yes. myself. Now, this is—is is this coming up next Tuesday, right? Tuesday uh, at ten in the ten in the morning. That is correct. At Second Presbyterian, that's at Cantrell and uh, four thirty. Is that right? Um, Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley Road. Okay, yes. Pleasant Valley. Right. All right. So Second Presbyterian, ten o'clock. Doors open at ten to ten thirty to noon. Uh, charge to get in? No, this is a free event. Mm -hmm. um, we welcome everyone to come. We'll have food there, um, and it'll be really a great event. And you know. I think everyone will enjoy it. And you definitely need to be there to hear what's going to be talked right. about. It's going to be great. Ellen, is Little Rock age-friendly right now? Well, I think uh, we've been named an age-friendly community by uh -huh. AARP, which means that uh, our city board and our mayor have made a commitment to, be, to meet certain standards to become even more age-friendly. So what we're working on right now is a survey of 45-plus uh, citizens in Little Rock to... Um, so they can tell us what they have, what they need, what they feel like they don't have. They may have services in their neighborhood that they don't know about, mm -hmm. but um, but we need to tell them that they're there and we need to find out what's really not there and what they really need. So it's a big, uh, it'll be a big, it'll be the basis for all of our work going forward. We don't want to make any plans without involving the citizens of yeah, Little Rock. Good call. <laughs> good call on and that. And of course this event is really important because you know 50 plus citizens are the are the voters and they're very interested in policy and, and whether it improves our quality of life and uh, improves our um, the economic um, situation of our city uh, all the things that are really important to us so it'll be a good opportunity to answer their questions and get their input on what we're doing all right again that is that from doors open at 10 next Tuesday at Second Presbyterian show up there don't be late all right Hey, let's shake it with the rants, see who he's got something to play for right now.